What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got some RAM content for you today. So we're gonna throw on a oil catch can. But before we begin, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos. All right, so the catch can we're gonna put on, got this blue one right here from UPR Products. And I actually had to contact them once I got this in because I was missing a part. So part I was missing was the plug for the bottom because I didn't uh, I didn't want to get the uh, the drain line or the kit or whatever it is that they have so I just wanted the plug but unfortunately they didn't have it in the box but I contacted them and they sent it to me ASAP so now I'm gonna get this thing installed we got the catch can there's a Z bracket on there we got our hoses that we're gonna throw on we got some nice little sleeves to make it look a little better. And then we got like some uh, spacer and bolt stuff like that. So uh, let me show you what the current setup is on this and then we'll start taking it apart. Don't mind the dirty engine. So this right here is a piece we want to change out. So this right here is where the, um, the oil and stuff will pass back into the uh, air intake area. And we don't want that. So that's why we're going to install a catch can but this runs back underneath here. And in the instructions, it tells you to uh, remove that. So if you haven't noticed or haven't seen my previous videos, I got a Ram Airflow and it really seems like it'd be a pain to try to take all this off. So I'm gonna try to, I got kind of small hands. So I'm gonna try to actually get my hands in there, see if I'm able to uh, do this. If not, we'll just want we'll to figure something out. All right, so the first thing we got to do is we're going to go ahead and undo this little clip right here. So it should just be able to get a flathead behind it and kind of pull on it and lift it up. Oh, yeah, that was nice and easy. All right, so we already got that disconnected. Now, the question is, is how hard this is actually going to be to pull out. Oh lordy, I think she's in there. Really not to, really not want to. There we go, there we go. Just trying not to damage this part. Just in case I ever get rid of the truck, I can sell the catch can. Let's see if I can just twist this to kind of break it loose some. able to get the part out as you can see right here this is a little piece and I was able to get it out without actually taking off the cover so uh, I think I saved a little bit of time there especially since I got this Ram Airflow flow on there all right so I went ahead and actually took the catch can apart and I got my bolt with my spacer so we're gonna install this bolt is right down here. This bolt size is going to be a 10 millimeter.
I'm gonna kind of position the can a little bit. I don't want to snug it down too much. I do believe that is aluminum, but I'll snug it a little more once I get everything installed and routed correctly. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pre-assemble some stuff. So I'm gonna take my hoses and we got these little fittings right here. So part of it's gonna go into the hose itself. Just like so. So we only need it on one end. So that's gonna be the end that actually goes into the truck. The other end will be open and that'll go into the catch can. Also, another important thing, before you install this in, if you have these sleeves like this, you have to put those on. Because once once you install this stuff, you're gonna to have to destroy the rubber and the hoses to get the thing back off. And you ask me how I know, I've been through it before. All right, so bear with me, cause this is, I'm leaning way over the truck right now, trying to do all this at once. Record and install this. So this piece is gonna go right up here. So I'm gonna have to route it behind this. There we go, that's pretty easy. You just go look at it right there. And from what I've seen, this hose will connect up front here. Now, the, I think they intentionally leave the hoses a little longer in case you want to try to route it some other way or have it positioned a certain way. But uh, you may or may not have to do some trimming depending on where you position everything. So this one is going to run to the front and then we're going to install the other one right through here. and easy so there's that one all right so i went ahead and trimmed my hoses so first thing i'm gonna do is install the back one i don't forget to throw your little sleeve on there if you have it all right so this one's on we'll do this one Looks like a nice little fit. And where this little clip was, I just kind of set this in there. I mean, of course it won't clip over because the hose is bigger, but it'll kind of at least, at least, at least hold it there a little bit. All right, so only thing we have left is installing this little plug in the bottom here. Just throw that baby on there. We'll kind of snug her down just a little bit. That should be good right there. Now, if you have the drain line, I'm not actually sure where you're supposed to route that. I'm sure if you look on the uh, UPR's website, I believe they have some uh, PDF instructions you can download and look at. All right, so I wanted to wait until daylight. That way so y'all could see it really well. It's starting to get dark last night, but that's what it looks like installed. And it's not, it's not too difficult to put on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna take and probably drive it for about a week and then I'm going to check and see how much it's collected and then probably after that I'll check in the next 500 miles or I'll if I do like a road trip or something I'll check it then but that's going to do it for today's video and I'll catch you on the next one